story to tell. After the Iran-Iraq war ended, about 50 F-14A heavy fighters remained in Iran. About 70 F-14 and E, 60 F-5E and F, and two dozen Chinese F-7M. Over time, these aircraft were in a shortage of spare parts and weapons to maintain operations. The Iranian leadership has done everything they can to maintain its air forces combat readiness. During the annual military parade in Tehran on Sunday, September 22, 2013, the new Fokker-90 long-range air-to-air missile was demonstrated. On April 2017, Fokker-90 was officially unveiled during a visit of Hassan Rouhani from Exhibition of Ladies Achievement Self-Defense Ministry of Iran. Iran State TV showed a video related to this exhibition, including test firing of Fokker-90 missile by an F-14 Tomcat of Iranian Air Force. From the information published by Iran, it is believed that the Fokker-90 is an air-to-air missile based on the M54 Phoenix. The Fokker-90 missile is equal to or even more powerful than the US Air Force M54 Phoenix in some features, Iranian defense officials claimed. Although most sources reported that the Fokker-90 is a copy of the M54, some allies suggested that the Fokker-90 was actually an air-launched version of the MIM-23 Hawk missile with control services from the M54. Recalling a bit about the M54 Phoenix, during the first Gulf War from 1980 to 1988, the backbone of the Iranian Air Force were F-14 Tomcat fighters armed with Phoenix missiles. The M54 Phoenix was developed in the 1960s by the Hughes Aircraft Company and Raytheon Corporation to deal with the Soviet Tupolev long-range heavy bombers. The Phoenix has several guidance modes and achieves its longest range by using mid course updates from the AWG-9 radar. It can reach a range of up to 160 km with a speed of Mark 5. It is capable of destroying targets with a powerful warhead. HF-14 can carry six missiles under the wings and barely. Phoenix was reported to have destroyed 62 aerial targets in engagements with the Iraqi Air Force. The United States has shown up to 79 F-14 fighters and 714 advanced M-54 missiles to Iran. The Iranian Air Force is the only force in the world to use this missile after the US retired the F-14 in 2006. Currently, Iran still has 40 F-14s in service along with several hundred M54s. The number of M54s was declined significantly 
after decades of use. And Iran was forced to develop its own weapons to maintain its deterrent power. There is reason to believe that the Fokker 90 is a variant developed from the American M54 missile. According to some later information revealed, Fokker 90 is a very large air to air missile with a diameter of up to 380 mm, 4 meters long, weighing 450 to 470 kilograms. Currently, only Iran owns the original M54 and the Fokker 90 version with the same size. The Fokker 90 missile is designed with a distinguishing style from Martin missiles. The missile body is arranged to four quadrilateral wings, extending half the body to the tail. The tail is arranged with four rectangular rudders. Fokker 90 is equipped with solid fuel rocket propulsion for a maximum range of 190 km. Maximum interception altitude of 24 to 30 km. Its Mark V speed is enough to match all types of fighters in the world. The AWG-9 fire control radar on the F-14 Tomcat allows the launch of six Fokker 90 missiles at the same time. According to some technical documents, 11 kilometers away from the target, the active radar on the missile will activate and guide the missile to attack the target. My video about Iran's Fokker 90 missiles ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.